despite Archie approaching his third birthday and Lyle bet her first, neither of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's brood have met their royal cousins. But according to one royal insider, this is something Harry is incredibly keen to rectify as his security row with the UK government continues. Earlier this month the Duke of Sussex issued a statement regarding his fight to secure protection for his family when in the UK. Alongside his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, they fund their own security team in California but that security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. The statement added, in absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return home. And according to one royal insider until the government budges Prince Harry will not be budged. Speaking to Source, they said, Harry has his heart set on returning to the UK to see the Queen with Meghan, Archie, and Lilibet, but that will only happen if the government takes the appropriate measures to protect his family. He refuses to put them at risk. Their safety comes before anything else. Harry and Meghan are doing everything they can to make the world a better place and feel it would be wrong to rob their children of the opportunity of getting to know their cousins. It's obviously difficult because of the distance factor, so Harry sweetly organized a special Zoom call with Prince William so that the cousins could get to see each other. However should the government stick to their position, it's likely Prince Harry's pockets will have to be pretty deep to the tune of £100,000. Richard H., the director of operations for Mobius International Security, believes that the cost for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could fluctuate over time based on other expenses, such as flights and accommodation abroad, as well as their children. He told that, it's very difficult to put a figure exactly on it. The cost for a personal protection officer from the Metropolitan Police has been estimated to be around £100,000 a year. What may appear as a wish on paper is far more in reality and the costs can certainly be quite huge. But according to royal expert Pauline McLaren, a return to the UK would be beneficial for the couple and would help reaffirm their connections with the firm. Speaking to Resource, Professor McLaren explained that the Sussexes could use the celebrations to top up their brand, though their visit could also benefit the other royals too. I think that would benefit both brands because it would be seen as a kind of reconciliation, the royal and PR expert said. I think it would add to the royal celebrations to have the element of diversity reclaimed that they seem to have lost through the sort of rupture of the relationship with Meghan. She added, I think it would be very good for the Sussex brand as well as they really need to maintain those sort of royal connections to really validate their brand, otherwise what are they? So because it might benefit them more than the actual royal family brand that might in fact encourage them to make a visit to top up their brand as it were with a little bit of royal shimmer and glimmer. Harry and Meghan stepped down as working royals in March 2020 and have since been living in California with their two children Archie and Lilibet. Following their move, rumors of tension between the couple and other royals have circulated after they opened up to Oprah Winfrey in March 2021 and claimed that there had been conversations about the color of Archie's skin. Since then, Harry has only returned to the UK twice, he attended the funeral of his grandfather, Prince Philip, in April last year and helped unveil the statue of his mother, Princess Diana, in July. Meghan, however, is yet to have returned. To celebrate the Platinum Jubilee, Buckingham Palace has outlined a program of events over a four-day weekend in June.